Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. For the new people here, I am Maria and I am a research scientist at the University of Birmingham. So because this is my first video, I thought I will uh, use it to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about who I am and what I do. Some of you may know that I have an Instagram blog called Research Diaries as well. Uh, so if you don't follow me on there already, uh, do go and check it out. Um, if you follow me there, uh, thank you very much for checking out my channel. I am very excited to share some content with you and uh, I hope you will really enjoy it. Onwards with the video. As I mentioned before, I am a research scientist at the University of Birmingham. I joined the university about seven years ago now. I started my journey there as an undergraduate student where I did uh, medical science. So after my undergrad, I decided to take some time out of education and work for a year. And what I did for a year was uh, working as a data manager for a national lung cancer trial. It is a trial that involves stratified medicine or personalized medicine. So all patients that go into the trial, they get screened and depending on which uh, genetic change is present in the cancer, they will be assigned to different treatment arms. So this trial was really exciting to work on. I learned quite a lot about the structure of the clinical trials and how the clinical trials are managed behind the scenes of medicine. So you've got laboratory research on one hand and you've got the clinical medicine on the other hand. But the clinical trial management kind of happens in between that. So somebody has to manage all the trial protocols and somebody has to give some direction about what is happening in the trial. Obviously there is a PI or principal investigator, which for this particular trial is Professor Gary Middleton. Obviously he is the head of everything that's going on at the trial. So I worked there for a year. My job was to ensure that all the patients are fully eligible for the trial, to ensure that all the data is entered correctly and in a good timely manner. And obviously I had to work as part of a team. So I worked with trial coordinators and senior trial coordinators. So it was definitely quite an interesting experience for me. This job was office based. Whilst I did enjoy it, I really wanted to go back to the labs and to research. So I decided to go on and do MRS Cancer Sciences at the university. MRS Cancer Sciences is a uh, research master's course. So there are different types of master's courses, which I think I will discuss in some other videos I will make later on. So MRS Cancer Sciences has a larger laboratory research component than, for example, if it was an MSc course. Um, and this was one of the reasons why I decided to do that particular course. Another reason for why I chose MRS Cancer Sciences was because um, I noticed that they had uh, cancer immunology immunotherapy modules and that's something that I was really interested in for quite a while and my research project was in cancer immunology so I was looking at how different types of immune cells would recognize cancer and I was looking specifically at Burkitt lymphoma which is a cancer of uh, B cells also another type of your immune cell and the immune cells I was working with that would recognize the cancer were gamma delta T cells and NK cells. Gamma delta T cell aspect of the project was basically the key point for me. So I came across gamma deltas through reading different literature. I was not thought about them when I was an undergrad. We did study T cells, but only the classical T cells. So uh, like your standard MHC antigen presentation to the T cells. Gamma delta T cells don't work that way. So I was fascinated by that and various other aspects about gamma deltas I found fascinating through reading. So when this project came about, I thought this is the perfect opportunity for me to actually get some hands-on experience, not only in the cancer immunology field, but also this was an opportunity for me to learn about how gamma deltas work. So I was looking at gamma delta T cell and NK cell recognition of Burkitt lymphoma. That was my project. Doing that project really helped me realize that I really want to stay in research and I want to do a PhD. So uh, I approached a particular supervisor in my university who studied gamma delta T cells. So my master's research project supervisor wasn't actually somebody working on gamma delta T cells. He was somebody who just decided to kind of explore that angle of research, but his lab doesn't focus on gamma deltas. So I found a supervisor that uh, actually has a lab dedicated to gamma delta T cell research. 
which for me was fantastic. So I decided to approach them and ask them if they have any PhD positions available. At the time, there wasn't anything coming up in the following year. So I did my master's uh, in 2017, 2018 academic year. So I was told that in 2018, there probably won't be anything coming up in the lab, but there might be an opportunity to do a PhD from October 2019 onwards. I did apply for two PhDs during my master's. I've gone through the interview process, but I did not get those PhDs. But then I was given reassurance that 2019, there'll definitely be something on Gamma Delta. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna to stick to this and I'm not going to apply anywhere else anymore. I'm going to wait for the PhD opportunity that I really want, rather than just applying for 10 different projects, because that's how I work. So I found my field of interest and I found the lab that I really want to work in. I got to know the supervisor, I got to know the team, and that for me made the decision very easy. I thought, I want to stay there. And I did. So obviously I didn't go straight into the PhD after the master's. So when I finished my master's, I spent a few months working as a research technician in a different lab. So in that lab, we looked at a chimeric antigen receptor or CAR T cell immunotherapy. So CAR T cells are basically T cells that are programmed for targeting specific tumor antigens. The CAR T cells that are currently approved are for treating hematologic malignancies, which are uh, leukemias and lymphomas. But currently there are no CAR T cells approved for treating solid tumors, such as pancreatic or colorectal cancer, for example. So in the lab where I worked as a tech, we looked at pancreatic cancer targeting. Or more specifically, we looked at targeting tumor vasculature in the context of pancreatic cancer. So your CAR T cells will come in, kill off the tumor vasculature, the tumor will be cut off from the blood supply, and then it would eventually die. So it's a cool, indirect way of targeting solid tumors, which I think is fascinating. Working in that lab gave me quite a lot of experience with the CAR T cell fields. So in my PhD, I am also looking at uh, doing some CAR T cell immunotherapy work alongside other things in the context of gamma delta T cells. So whilst I was working as a technician, the supervisor that I wanted to do a PhD with uh, sat down with me and we decided that we were going to apply for funding specifically for me to do a PhD in his lab, which was great because I felt quite secure knowing that that PhD funding is specifically for me and nobody else can do that PhD basically. I've already set my mind on to doing that particular project and I thought this is my project and I could totally see myself working there for three to four years of my life. So we applied for funding together and it took about four months for them to get back to us. And yes, we got the funding. So come 2019 and I started my PhD in the field that I wanted to work in. So I am one year into my PhD now and it is really exciting. So here I am. This is a video about me. I've told you that I've been at the University of Birmingham for seven years. I did my undergrad there, I worked there and I did my master's there and now I'm doing my PhD there. Thank you all very much for watching this. Just a little highlight about what Research Diaries is. So I started it as an Instagram blog during my master's. So on my blog, I usually provide student advice. I talk about my career journey and I tell people about what research life is like. So give me a follow on my Instagram if you don't already follow me. I will provide a link to my Instagram profile in the description box below. So feel free to check it out. Also subscribe to this channel. I will cover different things on here such as PhD applications, different types of master's courses. It's work in progress. I've got some plans for the content. So thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.